a laser. In 1995, the FDA approved PRK for people with low myopia. In 1996, Vizx PRK was approved for astigmatism. In 1998, at the time of this video, the FDA has approved the Vizx PRK for high degrees of myopia. Now greater than 99% of people with myopia and astigmatism are eligible for PRK, an outstanding achievement for a relatively new technology. Although no type of medical device is without some risk, the FDA ruled that PRK is safe and effective. Again, it is the benchmark against which all other refractive surgery can be compared. No non-laser vision correction surgery can match the safety and effectiveness of PRK. Let's talk about LASIK. LASIK uses the eczema laser in a two-step procedure. Whereas with PRK the laser is applied directly to the surface of the cornea, LASIK applies the laser within the cornea after making a cut into the cornea, as with ALK. The question is, why use this second treatment when PRK is so good? In the early days of PRK, some of the older model lasers made by a particular laser company resulted in a small percentage of some clouding of the cornea, an unwanted side effect. Though the clouding, hazing, or scarring usually went away or was treatable, there were other considerations. The doctor who experienced the clouding was stimulated to find a way to avoid clouding. In present-day LASIK surgery, a knife is used to raise a flap of corneal tissue under which the laser beam is applied. It's called flap and zap. LASIK is a two-step procedure and is the hot topic at national professional meetings. Since we now have two laser vision correction procedures, which is best, PRK or LASIK? Dr. De La Russo doesn't believe that we'll have the definite answer for several years. He does believe that both will continue to improve to the public's benefit. Dr. De La Russo points out the pros and cons for PRK and LASIK and offers these opinions as of 1998. On PRK, his pros, it's approved by the FDA. B, 10 years of experience and 1 million people treated worldwide. C, it's the benchmark of refractive surgery. D, it's the safest and most effective of all vision corrections. D, it's very precise and predictable. Retreatment is rarely needed. E, surgery takes 30 to 60 seconds. F, greater than 99% of the people with myopia and astigmatism are eligible, and now farsighted people. And lastly, early return of vision is the norm. You've heard all the pros, and now what about the cons in Dr. De La Russo's opinion? Well, there can be some discomfort for one to three days after surgery, and there also might be a very rare clouding of the cornea, which disappears on its own or is treatable. Now let's turn to the LASIK and the pros in Dr. De La Russa's experience. A. There's less discomfort. B. Both eyes are usually done the same day. And C. There's a somewhat quicker healing process. What are the cons of the LASIK according to Dr. De La Russo? Well, it's not approved by the FDA. The eczema laser was approved to be applied to the surface of the cornea. However, a surgeon can do the LASIK procedure if he feels it's in the best interest of an individual patient. It's a difficult surgery to master in Dr. De La Russa's experience. Very few refractive surgeons will ever become skilled enough to perform it routinely. It's not as precise or predictable as PRK. 10 to 20% of LASIK patients will need a retreat.